So when we think about karma, we think about I do good deeds and I get good results. And if I do something bad, eventually it will result into me paying back for whatever I've done. But is it that simple? You see a lot of rich and powerful people in the world, in fact, have done unethical things, have maybe sometimes been arrogant to people. They are not known as kind, compassionate, good deed people. But even then, they seem to be getting good results in the form of what society really values, the money and power. So what does Buddha have to say about karma? I'm Dr. Swati Desai. I'm a psychology professional, a mindfulness teacher, and founder of 2meditate.com. So this is what Buddha's theory about karma says. Anything that happens to us depends not only on one factor, but several other factors also. And a lot of these things are beyond our control. We don't know what and in what way they are going to show up their results. So what is in our control is our own action. And that's what we need to focus on. Because more skillful our action is, it is more likely eventually, maybe not immediately, but eventually it will show up in the form of joy and reduction of our suffering. So the goal of skillful karma is to reduction of our suffering. So what is skillful action then? Skillful action is based on the right intention and what that means is away from greed, hatred and delusion. Delusion is self-grandiosity. So if let's say you are a type of a person who smiles a lot and you attract a lot of people, but your intention is to attract them so you get their some benefits from them, you cheat on them, eventually Everybody is going to know about it and you'll be pushed away as a cheater. But let's say if you are a shy person, as a result, you don't smile that much. You don't look into people's eyes. You may not get friends right away. But if you are a kind and compassionate person, if that is your intention, then it is going to be known and the friends you make will actually be the friends indeed they will be available to you when you have difficulties in your life. You will not be pushed away by them. And this in itself will create a sense of relief and joy in you. The CEOs that are acting out of greed and arrogance, they are the ones who will be most likely thrown out of their own companies that they have founded. But if the intention is to make a difference in other people's lives or in the world, then that will that is what brings joy and pride in that person's life. So that's how karma works. So get fast and always think about is my action skillful or not?